Okay guys, is IRS paying for your parties? After the year we had with COVID, I think they should. Well, I wanna tell you three things that you need to know to make sure that IRS is paying for your parties. The government has said in 2021 and 2022 that meals are going to be 100% deductible. So my job is to make sure that you know the three things that you can do to make sure you get your meals tax deductible. Number one, you want to make sure that if you go out to a restaurant and take a client, guess what? That meal is going to be tax deductible. If you're traveling, meaning you're staying overnight or going more than 50 miles, past your normal home, you're gonna get a tax deduction, so you might as well eat at a fancy restaurant. The second thing that you need to know is to know that in order for your meals to be 100% deductible, you have to involve your employees. So if you decide you're gonna take your employees out to an outing, if you decide you wanna have a party with your employees, party up. As long as your employees go, their spouses go, that's going to be 100% tax deductible. So another thing is if you stop partying with your employees and you decide to go to a baseball game or a football game, that is not going to be tax deductible. If you decide to have a year in party and you don't invite your employees or your clients, that is not going to be tax deductible. Very important. Are you starting to see a trend here? IRS wants us to actually go out and eat. So you need to eat up America. They want us to go out and spend money on restaurants. So we need to make sure we do. And IRS is going to help us get a tax deduction as a result of going out. Thirdly, if you decide that you want to be a little bit on the cheaper side and go out and purchase food and prepare it in your hotel room, IRS will give you a 50% tax deduction for that. So let's say you go out and you buy some items and it costs you $30 to purchase it and you prep it in your room. You will get a $15 tax deduction for that 50% of the cost. Also, the other thing that you need to know that if you have employees and you decide to serve them food in that boring cafeteria, you will get a 50% tax deduction for that. So if you take the employees out someplace to eat, 100%. If you go in the cafeteria, 50%. What's really happening here is that our government has passed laws to stimulate the economy. Part of that law we're going to benefit from. We're going to go out and we're going to eat up America. We're going to go out and spend money in restaurants and get a tax deduction. The key is to make sure you follow the rules. If you have any questions about the rules or need any more information, please comment below.